Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I have a brand new stamp set to share with you designed by Alex Siberia. This is available at Maker Forte and it's called Flirty Flamingos. And look at how beautiful these are. I love the sentiments. You look absolutely beautiful. You are gorgeous. You color my world. There's a little hello. And today I'm going to make a card with this and I'm going to go through the Copic coloring and some of my very favorite colors for coloring flamingos. And so I hope you'll stick around. I've had quite a few requests for coloring videos lately. And so this time I left most of it in the video. I'm going to start off with a slimline card here and I'm inking it up with my favorite black ink for Copic coloring. This is the remarkable Eclipse black ink from Maker Forte. It is very nice to stamp with. It dries very quickly and it is great for Copic coloring. So while I'm here with my Misty and those flamingos in there, I'm also going to stamp a second impression on this Gina K masking paper. I'm going to cut those out because we are going to mask. We're going to start off by masking these flamingos and I'm just fussy cutting these and you can see that their bodies are separate from the actual their heads here so I ended up cutting out those separately I have put the bodies on already and now I'm just going to place the masks of their heads on now I like to do the masking before the coloring a lot of times just in case I mess up on the background I've got these two leaf stencils one is a slimline stencil and the other is a six by six stencil these are both also from Maker Forte I decided to use the six by six stencil because I liked the smaller size of the leaves. So I'm going to add this to my make art station and then I'm just going to ink on some beautiful evergreen bow ink here and we're going to create a soft minty background. I'm using my blending brush here. I'm not pressing very hard. I'm adding just a small amount of ink and building it up just a tiny bit. I really want a softer background because these flamingos are really what's going to pop. But this mint background is going to add just a little bit of pizzazz to our card. I really like that when you can do that with stencils. Stencils have become really popular lately. Look at how this is turning out. Now that the background is done, we can remove those masks and reveal our beautiful flamingos and it's time to color. I'm using some of my favorite colors, R32, R30, R21, and R11. These turn out so pretty for a flamingo. I'm going to start with the beaks, and usually their beaks are black on the ends with some gray and a little bit of pink. So I'm adding just a touch there before I start on the flamingos. And then I'm going to color in the leaves on the floral crown here. The reason I decided to color these leaves in is so I could tell which ones are leaves and which is part of the flamingo <laughs> before adding that pink. And I'm starting with a light color just so I know where to place my shadows. And now I'm going to go in with that dark R32. That's going to end up being my darkest color for this girl flamingo here. I guess this is the girl. She's wearing the flowers. I don't know. I It could be either way. <laughs> You know, peacocks, they, the males are the ones that have the beautiful, big plumage, you know, with their tails and the feathers and the colors. And a lot of birds are that way. So this could be a male. I am not trying to guess. I'm just saying the flamingo on the right. <laughs> so I'm going in with my shades of pink and just blending out the darkest shade to the lightest. And as I do this, I'm going to also remember that I'm going to add some more darker shades later. So I'm just keeping it kind of light and easy this first time around. And that's how I always start my coloring. Just make it nice and easy and fun, right? So as I'm finishing up with all of these colors, I'm realizing that the dark one now has disappeared a little. It has dried back. So I'm going to add some more of the dark shades in and blend it through yet again. And this is how I typically like to use my Copics is start with a light shade, add the darker, blend it out, and then add more darker. I tend to get it 
to look the way I want it to a little more this way. So here you go. And look at how she's coming to life or he, this one on the right. <laughs> For the body of this particular flamingo, I'm going to start with those darker colors in the corners and the edges and then blend it out and kind of leave it a little bit white on the ends of the, of the feathers. That will give this more of a contrast. And I even go in with a colorless blender to kind of blend out those edges and keep it nice and light. And I will be adding the dark color again to these and you'll see that later. But as I go through, I start with the darkest, blend it out with the next color and then with the lighter color and then the lightest and then the colorless blender. So see how simple this is? It just is a little bit time consuming to do it this way, but I think you get a really good result, especially when you go in with the darker marker at the end. Now I know I'm going to get this question a lot, so I guess I should tell you that I am using Nina Solar White cardstock to do my coloring today. I really like Copic coloring on this paper. I've tried some other papers as well that I like, but most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, I use my Nina Solar White and that's because I buy it in bulk. And so I have a lot of it on hand most of the time for my coloring. And so that's why I'm using this one. I decided to go ahead and just continue to color this flamingo all the way off the edge like her body continues off the edge there. And so that's how I'm gonna do it on this one on the left as well. And I'm coloring this one up lighter. So I'm not using as much as the darker of the darker shade as I did on the first one. Instead, I'm coloring it lighter and using the colorless blender down the center of the neck to make it have more of a light appearance, blending it out with that colorless marker on the top. So I'm coloring this one in much the same way. I'm gonna speed through this, and as I do, I wanna tell you a funny story. My sister recently had a birthday, and her favorite animal is a flamingo, or her favorite animal at the zoo, anyway. Her favorite bird, I guess, is a flamingo. And so for her birthday, I, I tend to make her flamingo cards and get her flamingo presents or something like that. It's always just really fun to do. So I got her some soap from Bath and Body Works this year that had a flamingo on it. And she said, oh, what, what does this smell like? And I said, well, you know, flamingos, they eat shrimp. So it probably has a shrimp smell to it. <laughs> and she's like, no, you're kidding. And she smelled it. And of course it wasn't shrimp smelling soap. Who would buy shrimp smelling soap? Instead, it was more tropical, like mango, that kind of thing. <laughs> so she liked it after all. The funny thing is, is as much as she loves flamingos, she does not like shrimp. And that's how they get their color. You know, they eat shrimp from the water. They eat those and, and then they turn this pinky coral color from the shrimp that they eat. It's from their diet. So we always have a joke about it, how much she loves a flamingo but hates shrimp. She calls them sea bugs. So it's, it's a good time around here. All right, back to the card. I am going to add the sentiment and I decided to use the one that says beautiful and then add the UR on top of that in gold. So I first start out stamping the beautiful with my favorite black ink there, the one I used for the flamingos. And now I waited for that to dry just a few minutes and now I'm going to use some clear sticky ink to add the UR and add some gold embossing powder. And then I'll just heat that with my heat tool to melt that embossing powder. And we've got a UR beautiful with the gold. So the last thing I have to do is color up those flowers on this one. And I didn't know what colors to use. And so I fall back on my favorites, which are yellow and turquoise. And that's what I decided to color them up. You can never go wrong with yellow and turquoise. That's my motto. <laughs> So here I'm starting with a light color, BG11. I'm going to add on the BG45 to give it some contrast and then BG15 to blend that out and back to the BG11 as well. I've already colored in the tulips with the yellows and now just finishing up the rest of those blue flowers. 
These kind of match the background a little bit in tone. They're not minty, but they are a kind of a blue green. So I think it's pretty complimentary. What do you think? So just finishing up this coloring here, adding the darker shades to where the shadows might be on those flowers behind where the petals overlap and a little bit in the center as well. I try not to worry too much about light source, but I do find that when you add these darker shadows, it really makes your image pop. So just adding those to where the leaves or the petals overlap. There we go, just finishing out the blending. And I think this card is turning out just beautiful. Here is a look at this card, a close up. And I was thinking about putting a frame around the edge here. See this beautiful turquoise frame, but I decided to just leave it shining as it is. I left the frame off and I went ahead and attached that to a top folding card base. I added a little heart. This here is from Altenew and it is a heart shaped enamel dot, kind of like an enamel dot. I guess that's what you call those. And so see here, I'll just add that to the card base and the card base is 110 pounds. So it's nice and sturdy. And there is our card for today. Now you can dress this up as much or as little as you want. You can add more enamel dots. You could add sequins. You could add glitter. You could add stickles. You could do whatever you want today. I thought I would leave it with that gold embossing, the beautiful coloring and the leaf background. And that's going to be it. It's so fun to, to color this. I don't know if you've been watching my channel for long, but I have not had a lot to be happy about in the last six or seven months. And so I am so grateful to Maker Forte and Alex Siberia for designing the stamp set. I listened back to my voiceover and there was quite a bit of laughing in there. So that has been a long time in coming. I'm just so grateful. If you enjoyed this coloring video, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you want to see more like this. And I'll be back real soon with more card making inspiration. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.